Josh Lambeau now ready to put this one in the air. And off we go from Jacksonville. Andre Roberts now to return it. <laughs> and he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21-yard line. They'll try and run for the first time with Freeman. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Freeman again. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. complete to his tight end. A gain of six there on first. So they complete the pass and now they face a second down. And they're definitely showing blitz here. Now Ryan on second down. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. That throw good for only a couple, it brings up third down. 
Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage looked defensively. On third down, Devontae Freeman. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. He hits his target. It's the tight end, Toilolo. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Offside defense. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. After the penalty, here's Freeman. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. On first and ten, it's Ryan. And this is Gabriel on the catch. Touchdown, Falcons! Taylor Gabriel, 38 yards. And the Falcons have taken the early lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Here's Bosher to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Leonard Fournette, and he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It'll wind up being a loss of two, and it'll be second and 12. A fake to Fournette, now it's Bortles to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The go, offense go, staring go. at a third and 12 here. To throw, it's Bortles. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Brian Poole. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. A great pick. Nice return, but you know he's just beating himself up inside for not getting all the way in. No doubt about it, because he had visions of end zone in his mind. Going to be the total hero. But we did see there the emphasis on it's not just good enough to pick it off anymore. Bring it back, get the yardage, and really help out your offense. They'll run here with Freeman. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Devontae Freeman punching it in from a yard away. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. A nice, tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position and only one play to score it. Here's Bosher to kick it away. 
And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Jags offense now gets set and heads back onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Here we go now. Green, 39. Go, 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 go. to the air on second down. It's Bortles. And the catch made here by Marquise Lee. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. down at about the 42. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. So what will they do on the ground through the air? Let's see, second and nine. the gun. It's Bortles. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. Yeah, blink of an eye. That happened fast and a big sack. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. And a big tight end shifting around. From the gun on third down, Bortles. Being chased out left. Now he'll let it go deep left side. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Nortman on to kick as he sends it away. Oh, he takes it in, doesn't let it bounce. He takes it at the two. It looked like he might beat that last man. He doesn't, though, but it goes as a 32-yard return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Freeman here to begin the drive. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Gun, it's Ryan. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Freeman. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. 
and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It looks like a pickup of six. That leaves him with seven yards to go on third down. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. Going left side here, and it's complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. side it's a pickup of three that time and that leads to an Atlanta first down many different ways to create space but on that play he did it with that big wide body of his didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play but it did what it was supposed to pick up a first down back to the running game it's Freeman gets around him and they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. On first down, Ryan. Sanu with a grab over the middle. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Ten more there and another first down. Now Ryan going to give it to Freeman. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. On second down, Ryan. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And Freeman lost the football. And the Jags grab it. He's at the 50. 30. 20, 10, and they will score. It's a Jacksonville touchdown. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. And that one makes it 14 to 7. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. That's fielded in the end zone. And he is hit pretty hard from the side as he's knocked down. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. They'll be looking to make amends for the events of a moment ago. A fumble return for six points. You absolutely have to protect the football. That's got to be priority number one because margin for error is starting to slip away. Now it's down to a one-score game. Now it's Ryan. Caught by Sanu. And they'll get him down here at the 23. That throw good for four. It's second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. So he loses three yards there. Now third down.
third down, Ryan. And he's going to be brought down. Back in his own six-yard line. And now the Jags defense deciding to call a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Here's Matt Bosher now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. Yeah, not a great one there. Out of bounds in the air. And the offense is going to be set up already in enemy territory inside the 45. Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. And things haven't started so well for this side. Two drives, two punts. So now you've got to start looking not just at play calling, but which guy's going to step forward and say, okay, let's get this thing done. Because within that unit of 11, sometimes one guy can make a big-time play and break through the barrier. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. Bortles now on first down. Completes it left side to the tight end, Lewis. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. In the red zone this time. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. They'll try to punch it in with Fournette. And they'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying this one up. And a little time left on the clock. So on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Wow, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, where they want to let their return guy touch it. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And here now come the Falcons. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. He's got Freeman here. It's complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Five yards left for the offense. It's second down. They toss to Freeman. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. So the D-line's going to spread out. Final play of the half. It's Ryan. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. So thanks to the... All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Out 
on the Jaguars now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan showing you. the man in motion left. Again, it's Fournette. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, it's hard to get them started again occasionally. They'll run it now, out of the gun. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. Halfback sent in motion. They do go for it. It's Bortles. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Play that time on the catch and run. 39 yards. And they pick up the first down on a fourth down play. I don't know if the defense relaxed because they thought maybe they'd stop them on third down, but they just didn't protect the sticks very well. But boy, that's a big time pickup right there. Now Leonard Fournette. And he will lose yardage here to the 31 yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Now Bortles throwing on second down. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Robert Alford. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? <laughs> what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Jags defense deciding to call a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Here's Matt Bosher now as he'll kick it away for the second time. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. 
And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. On play action, now Bortles. Flush to his right. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. He was looking to get it to Alan Hearns that time. Third down here. Even though that one was incomplete, you could see the training that went into that play. He gets out of the pocket, ends up moving to his right. All he's trying to do, though, extend the life of the play, keep it alive, hoping someone would pop free. Was able to take a pretty good go, shot with a deep ball, three, but three, incomplete. Three, three. Little motion now from the tight end. Throwing his Bortles on third down. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Adrian Claymore in there to drop him for a 6-yard loss. And that'll lead to a fourth down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. It's fielded at the 45. It'll go as a 42, making a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and ten. Here comes the Atlanta offense now, ready to take over here. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position back. As a general rule, what they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Now Ryan on first down. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 25. That's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. Try to get the run game going. This is Fournette. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Bortles. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. That catch good for five. It's third down. All square, 14 apiece to score as we get ready for the fourth quarter. The Jaguars on third down. Not good, 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and eight. Shotgun now for Bortles. He finds Ivory here. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Ten yards there, good enough for a Jags first down. But just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. 
Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. First down, Jacksonville. The passing game looking sharp on this drive for the Jags. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. On second down, here's Bortles. Dancing to his left. And he's got it. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Ben Koyak from 21 yards away. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. Brandon, that's climbing the hill. And not only climbing it, but finally getting to the top and over. What a comeback. What a comeback indeed. I mean, Charles, that was a three-score deficit at one point that they were facing. And let's face it, many times teams in that situation, they pretty much pack it in for the game. So that drives seven plays in length, and it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now Ryan on second down. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. Telvin Smith coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. to throw on third down. Ryan in a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Paul Puzlesny. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Portals on the give to Fournette. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Throwing his Bortles. Defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Bortles. Escaping under pressure again, and down he goes again. Deion Jones not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. Boy, you talk about not playing it safe. Why were they going for it there, Charles? It's got to be a full evaluation of their team. Do they trust their defense in this situation? Maybe they think they've given all they can in this game and they don't have anything left. Do they not trust that the other team's quarterback it's just so hot that it, no matter where they get the ball, they go downfield. Remember when Bill Belichick went for it yeah. in that game, yep. right, against, against Indianapolis yep. on the road? And everybody said, why'd you go for it there? I think he just thought to himself, 
On the other side, if they hit the ball, they're going downfield anyway. He was trying to end the game right there with his own offense. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Back to throw. Buying time to his left. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. The Falcons on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and 15. He'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Paul Puzlosny in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. They'll look to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. And agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set to go again. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of the night. And the Jags take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. And yeah, he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. And the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. His throw is going to be incomplete. Austin Hooper, the tight end, was the intended target. And it's second down. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Second and ten now. Ryan forced out to his left. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. On third down, Ryan. Now a desperation throw deep, and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by the safety, Calvin Pryor. And a return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely didn't want to make. And I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. They begin with a run by Fournette. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. One thing rookies need to learn at this level and quick Make a cut, be decisive, and go. Because in college, you could dance around and wait for a hole to open because you're probably a better athlete than most of the guys on the field, but not on the NFL level. Following the sack, third and long for Bortles and the Jags. Now Bortles. 
Losing six yards there to bring up fourth. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. The Jags do snap it. It's Bortles being chased out left. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. And this looks to probably be the final play. One last shot for Ryan. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Barry Church, and he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. 